The basics of the offset tool are pretty easy to understand. You can see in these examples how the tool works. Click on any flat surface to offset its edges in or out. With that introduction as a basis, let's look at how to use the offset tool in more detail. As we saw, the offset tool will auto-select and work on any flat surface if nothing is selected. Or, you can focus the tool by selecting a single surface. Remember, only one surface at a time. You cannot offset multiple surfaces or curved surfaces. Furthermore, you can select individual edges to offset. When selecting edges, you must make sure the edges are all connected and in the same plane. Use modifier keys with the Select tool to select several edges and then use the Offset tool to offset only those edges. The classic example of offsetting edges is creating a door frame. You can see if we offset the whole door surface, it creates extra geometry below the door we'd need to clean up. However, by selecting only edges we need, we can offset the door frame cleanly the first time, or even multiple times. As with other tools, if you need to be accurate, simply start the offset, type in the exact value you need, and press the Enter key to finish. Also remember that inferring works great when creating multiple offsets. If we create the first offset at a specific distance, then we can use inferring to quickly create other offsets at the same distance, even around corners. Just be mindful of which side you offset from if you need to infer to another edge. Offsetting from this edge makes inferring easy. However, if we offset from this edge, we can't infer to the previous edges. Another shortcut you can use is to double-click your mouse to repeat an offset distance. Create one offset, then double-click on the other surfaces to offset by the same amount.